So Dorothy has this dream of better. In fact, she even sings about someplace over the rainbow. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, I think when she sings that song, what she's doing is she is actually setting a very powerful intention about what she wants to create in her life. All right? She's so committed to this idea of a place over the rainbow where troubles melt like lemon drops and all that great stuff. So she and Toto take off, and they meet uh, a fortune teller. And while he's telling her fortune, the storm that's coming gets worse, and she decides she really needs to go home. But when she gets home, everybody has already gone into the root cellar below ground, and they've locked the door, so she can't get in. So she and Toto, they go into the house, and a shutter breaks off, hits Dorothy, conks her on the head, knocks her out. So I think it's interesting that Dorothy has to go unconscious before she gets more conscious. You know? She has to go to sleep before she wakes up. And how many of us have done that again and again and again? That sometimes, going unconscious, we have to get epically unconscious, hugely unconscious, before we start the process of waking up. Oh, I love that. I love that. So, you know, Dorothy's problem, again, is not external. You know? She's trying to avoid her problem, and what happens is it actually grows into technicolor. Mm -hmm. It does. You know?